Hello everyone, welcome to the session Native JSON Data Type Support, Maturing SQL and NoSQL Convergence in Oracle Database. My name is Zheng Hua Liu. I'm the principal architect for Oracle JSON Database and Ozone Technology. So here's my presentation agenda. First, I'm going to talk about JSON data type and how it is closing the SQL and NoSQL gap. Then I'm going to dive into the detailed design of JSON data type in Oracle binary Ozone format and how it has been used to efficiently support JSON, OLTP, and OLAP processing. And then I will go over some performance data followed by conclusion. So here's Oracle's vision. Oracle database is a central repository to store all the JSON documents in binary JSON OSINT data type format. And on the left side is the NoSQL applications, where applications put and get all the JSON documents into the Oracle databases through an API called the SODA Simple Object Doc Simple Oracle Document API, available in all the popular languages like REST, Java, Node.js, Python, PLSQL, and OCI. On the right side will be the SQL DBA and developers who can use SQL JSON to query all the JSON documents. So overall, it bridged the gap between the NoSQL and the SQL use cases. So the Primary use case is JSON collection store. It follows the object database paradigm. The data model is JSON. It's a large collection of small to medium size JSON documents stored in a table with ID columns, and in particular, the JSON type columns, which is where all the JSON documents get stored. And the user interface is sim it's simple Oracle document API, where user can get a SODA collection, create a SODA collection, and then put get of all the SODA document, JSON document into the SODA collection. And then the, the user can, DBA can start to query the JSON documents using the SQL JSON. And SQL JSON can use the simplified syntax where we can drill into the JSON documents using simple path navigations. And we also support SQL JSON update by updating the documents based on a, a set of JSON pass. So in this example, we want to update set address city to be Berkeley, set address zip equal to 94612, and we can delete a bunch of phone numbers with, with the type office, and we can add the new movies. So this is a lot, this is the SQL JSON way of doing partial update on the JSON documents. And to run more sophisticated OLAP query over JSON collections, we allow people to write JSON exists with arbitrary JSON paths to do the range, query, range value queries with any SQL passing bind variables. And we can also incorporate the JSON full text search where the user can say JSON text contain and searching the keyword present election and the movie name JSON pass. And, and then once the where clause is finished, they can order by the results using JSON pass expression and select the JSON fragments and strings. So having gone over the use case, let's see how OSINT binary really support that. First of all, OSINT binary is self-contained. The few name dictionaries embed each OSINT document. So there's no central schema management evolution issues. The OSINT is fully transportable, distributable, platform independent without any conversion. But what are the two key things that make OSINT unique is, first of all, OSINT has this few jump navigation table that allow us to do rapid SQL JSON pass navigations. Unlike other binary format like BSON or JSON text, you have to basically streaming read, read through the bytes. OSINT essentially does jump navigation and, and does lazy read. It only loads the hot OSINT data blocks in the buffer cache for the, for the JSON components that you really need. And the leaf level of OSINT is using the Oracle relational binary scalar type, so to minimize conversion between JSON data and SQL data. And finally, a unique property of OSINT, it does support partial updatable. So which means that it doesn't have to replace a full document. And uh, if the link doesn't fit, it will do the trick of append with a full address. So here's a logical view of a JSON. It's a binary tree and a field name dictionary. And then the leaf value is essentially all the leaf values that pack together. Um, here's a linear view of the OSAM. So the, here's the OSAM dictionary, name, uh, 
ID items has a few IDs. And then this is a navigable binary offset to indicating the tree navigations. And this is the old sum without update. But suppose you want to update the CDEG4 to be some other value, what will you do? Let's say you want to update that into CDEG52. Unfortunately, this lens is more than CDEG4. So what you do is that you, you strike out this one and start in the forward address to the new pieces, which is CDEG52 at the end. So that consider a extended tree segment. And, and over time, when this, uh, there are too many appends in the end, then we can do a full document replacement. So overall, the key takeaway of partial ozone update is does a lens preserve update and also append or truncate, but it never do any insertion in the middle. So that allow us to update the DB blocks to contain only modified ozone bytes. And the database transaction log reduce size will be significantly smaller compared with the full document replacement. And, and over time, when accumulate piece exceeding certain threshold, we do the full document replacement. And this is the, the overall vision about end-to-end -end support of JSON data types through OSAN. Database is all using OSAN. Uh, the, all the client also using OSAN. So OSAN binary format is end-to-end. -end. In particular, the client side had its native OSAN encoder decoders in popular language like C, C++, Java, and .NET. And they will access OSAN bytes on the wire. And, and there's a, a fast client server communication on the wire protocol to send the OSAN bytes over the wire much more efficient. Finally, JSON data type is integrated with every performance booster that Oracle has. So it supports parallel query, maturized view. It supports Oracle as a data storage push down so that the smart scan can evaluate in JSON pass evaluation in the, in, in the storage node. And in the compute node, we can load JSON in memory in the in the in-memory corner form to speed up the queries. So let's run some performance data here. So we take 11 representative JSON documents from public source and customer data. Customer data. So as you see, JSON, BSON, OSAN, we compare its size. When documents are small, JSON, BSON, OSAN is more or less the same size. But as the document become medium size and or become bigger document size, then you can clearly see the OSAN has smaller size compared with both BSON and JSON. And the reason we're able to do so because OSAN has few name dictionary, we only store the few name once as opposed to repeatedly, repeatedly store multiple times in the OSAN bytes. So, and that come up with a nice performance for small documents. As you see, the JSON text versus OSAN for the insertion, document insertion, and full document retrieval is more or less the same. But as the JSON document size goes up, the OSAN has full advantage in terms of insertion and retrieval because OSAN size is actually smaller than the JSON. And here is a table scan performance for EYCSB queries comparing JSON versus OSAN. Clearly, you see that OSAN jump navigation gives about seven to eight X faster than the JSON uh, um, streaming text passing processing. For the full document replacement, OSAN can do partial updates versus JSON has to do a full document replacement. So this is the performance improvement for large documents and, and also reduced, reduce the log size. So the so log size saving is huge due to the OSAN partial update versus, versus JSON full text update. So in conclusion, we're saying JSON data type enables the principle of flexible schema development. OSAN is self-descriptive, support random jump navigation, partial updatable, compressed and high performance. And, and OSAN processing has been deeply integrated with all Oracle client server stacks. It closes the gap with NoSQL, supporting for schema free for write, JSON sharding, JSON search indexing, and SOTA API, or support for JSON type to host what, what we call practical developer friendly object relational databases using JSON data, JSON data type and realize the uh, original Stonebreaker vision of object relational database. Thank you for your attention.